for the women's 200 meter backstroke. You see the world and American records. And as far as this particular race, the one woman to focus on at the beginning is the American from Rhode Island, Elizabeth Beisel. She'll be in lane number two. She's the bronze medalist in this event from the World Championships in Rome, but also the Pan Pac champion from last year. And she will represent the U.S. on the World Championship team next month in Shanghai in the 200 meter back. Let's see if she still has that quote unquote practice suit on. Most of these swimmers will be wearing the shoulders to knees suit. Still practice suit. Missy Franklin in lane six just got out of the 200 free. All right, let's roll through the lanes here for the 200-meter backstroke. Beginning in lane one, the American Julia Smith, who has a couple of Olympic medals from freestyle relays, a silver and a bronze from 2008. Elizabeth Beisel next to her in lane number two. 18 years of age. Looking ahead at the World Championships next month. Kathleen Hersey is in lane number three out of Atlanta, Georgia. She was fourth in the 100 fly earlier here at this Santa Clara Grand Prix. Elizabeth Pelton in lane number four. She was second at the Pan Pac Championships to Elizabeth Beisel in 2010. Megan Ney will be in lane five, the Australian. She's the Australian record holder in the 200 meter backstroke. She'll be tough to beat. Top qualifier, lane number six, Missy Franklin. Along with Beisel, she will make up the world championship team for the U.S. in the 200 back next month. Melissa Ingram is in lane number seven, the Kiwi, who was fifth at the Pan Pacific Championships in the 200 back last August. Hillary Caldwell is a 20-year-old Canadian in lane number eight. And finally, lane number nine, Lauren Lavina, the Canadian who swims out of Missouri, seventh in the Pan Packs here in the 200 back. She rounds out the field. It's hard to believe that Elizabeth Biden is only 18 years old. I, I just... It's just amazing to me because I remember watching her, Steve, as a just turned 14-year-old at the Pan Packs five years ago on her first national team. She was just turned 14. She was 13 years old when she made the Pan Packs. Think about that. The women on the World Championship team, Beisel 18, Missy Franklin 16 for the U.S. Yeah, Missy Franklin's an old woman at 16, and I guess it seems like here. But and every year, Elizabeth Beisel just seems to get a little better every single year that she swims. A little bit more confident. Now she's a college freshman. Just finished her college freshman year. It's hard to believe that she's only still only 18 years old. Megan Ney, the lead at the turn in lane number five. Top qualifier, swimming well, the Aussie. Well, the advantage that Ney has over Beisel and Franklin is the fact that she comes in fresh. Franklin just got out of the 200 freestyle, and Beisel swam earlier in the 400 IM, one of the toughest events to double back on. So she definitely has advantage. She comes in here fresh and looking very solid early on. Missy Franklin kind of biding her time this first 100. There's Biden, excuse me, there's Franklin right there. Nay right above her in lane number five, the top qualifier. By the way, Beisel up there in lane number two toward the top of your screen. Missy Franklin has the third fastest time in the world. Nay the lead at the midway point. Followed by Pelton. He was in lane number four. Finished well, Franklin comes in with the third fastest in time the in, the, in the world this year, but Nay right there comes in the fifth fastest time, only a tenth of a second behind Franklin. Go, so he knew she was going to be very tough. 22 years of age from Australia. The Australian women much improved over the last couple of years. They're going to have a very solid team, both for the men and the women. And Nay is one of those that will be leading the charge. Now Megan Ney has been in control from the outset. Elizabeth Pelton still in second next to her in lane four, Megan but not Ney able to really close down the gap. 
and everybody else is a distant race for third. And as far as first place, the Aussie, Megan Ney, closes it out with the win. Really, really good time. In fact, that may be prop, maybe the best time of the evening for any swimmer. Megan Ney, that's the second fastest time in the world this year, Steve. That's a really good swim, and only three-tenths of a second slower than the fastest time in the world this year by Belinda Hawking of, yes, Australia. So no. now the Australians have the two fastest in the world. Also a personal best for Megan Ney. A wire-to-wire -wire win for the 22-year-old Australian. Has the athletic pedigree. Her father was an Olympian from the 1972 games. This was coming into the finish. And finishing it off, Megan Ney with an impressive victory. Good time for Pelton and Franklin to break 210, especially for Franklin just coming out of the 200 free. Ney, Pelton, and Franklin, the top three. So Megan Ney, the Australian record holder in the event, one of the top times of the year, a personal best. Good weekend for her here in Santa Clara, her second top 10 of the weekend as well. And as you can see, she's trying to catch her breath, but she joins us nonetheless. Hi, Megan. This is Rowdy Gaines along with Steve Schlanger. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. What do you think of that race? Did you think you were going to go that fast? Um, yeah, I kind of wanted to, after this morning, I had a pretty good solid heat swim in. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted to go out fast and um, send a bit of a message to the rest of the world just before Worlds, so I um, would have liked to sneak under that 2.7, but that's a PB, so I'm pretty stoked. Well, I know everybody's always happy with the best time. Tell me about Australia and the Australia women. You, you guys have really started to come on this year. You're having a solid year. Belinda just ahead of you as a top-ranked time. Now the Australians come in with the top two times heading into Shanghai. Yeah, well, Australia's pretty good, but, uh, <laughs> um, yes, yeah, our backstroke are. is uh, kind of in safe hands at the moment, I think, and I think we push each other, definitely me and Belinda in that 200, so getting down to, you know, the best top two in the world, one, two now, so, um, yeah, I guess Australia's going pretty good. Well, great job there, and good luck in Shanghai. Thanks so much. Megan Ney won the gold in this event in the Commonwealth Games a year ago. She wins tonight in Santa Clara, and the men are coming up when we come back.